What's up, Speaking bro? of which, it's pouring outside. The tide did bring you in. Oh, yeah. It's somebody somebody washed out into the bank, too. I, that's, what, that's what got me here so late. That's why I'm IFB-less. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Oh, yeah, no, we, we got do. you. We, we got you. I'm glad to have you. I can't, oh, hear the, I can't hear people in the back I telling changed you. All you need to I hear people in the, the front telling you that. So that's all that really matters. Hey, yeah, um, listen to the gentleman. Bart, big win for the Cowboys on Sunday, beating the Eagles and in the process keeping their playoff hopes alive. And while on paper it was just a divisional game for two mediocre teams, don't tell Jerry Jones that. After the win, he said, quote, in light of last week, this becomes one of the real, for me, memorable games. So when you're feeling low and seeing the Grim Reaper and then come in and have your team perform the way these guys are, I promise you it's a special feeling. It is a lift. I won't need any wings on that airplane getting back to Dallas tonight because drama classes. Uh, what is it, C? I'm just worried about that lift because, you know, Jerry didn't have a face lift or two. Is it the same kind of lift? Because he was like this and then he got that lift. He was like, Ugh. Always smiling, happy face. Give me the happy face. Are you as gung-ho about the Cowboys playoff Did picture as Jerry Jones is? Not yet. Now, I tell you, well, well they, you know, they're, they're up and down team. They're a middle of the pack team. Yeah. But so is that division. You look at the Redskins, you know, six and three, losing three of their top line, and they're going to be vulnerable. You know, <laughs> according to Odell, they think that they still have a shot if they run the table. Right. Um, I think, you know, really a lot of the warts that the Philadelphia Eagles came out and showed themselves, you know, they don't have elite, you know, outside cornerbacks falling for the double move, being exposed over the top. But also Zeke Elliott when Zeke Elliott. And if they, they want to be a successful team, they want to have opportunity with that type of defense that can be a shutdown type of defense with pass rushers and good enough guys on the outside. I love the linebackers of, mm-hmm. of the Cowboys. They they can be in a lot of games. They have to have, understand who they are, what their identity is. They are running football team that plays stout defense. They can't think that the offense has to run through Dak. Dak just has to make enough plays to win the ball game. I can understand why Jerry would have excitement because if, if they're going to be a winning football team, they're going to have to play the way they did on Sunday. Not the way they did on the previous Monday against the Titans, where they Wait, which is what? Which is play the way they did on Sunday, which is Zeke play that way? Or Identity Dak do just and the enough? quarterback. Okay. You have to you have to keep that quarterback and keep a harness on him. Now you can't think that, oh no, we're gonna try to win a different style. So in doing that, I like the recipe. They allowed their offensive linemen to get out and get up on those linebackers, create holes for Zeke. That, not too much pressure on him. We're going to start the party with Amari Cooper. We don't have a tight end, but these other guys, Cole Beasley, Hearns and them, if they can make one or two catches with Amari being our featured guy, and we're going to feature that defense. We're going to get them in long yardage situations, get after that quarterback, and know that they have some special players in, in, their, in their linebacking core in these young Young linebacker. So, yes, if they can keep that style of play, I can understand why Jerry would be very, very excited. But the thing is, is it duplicatable? Can they repeat it? And that's why they've been so inconsistent because they want their quarterback to be a thrower of the football. And when they try to get in those situations, that's when they lose their identity and they're not an effective football team. Jerry, Jerry's excited, much like someone who's on death row gets a stay of execution. They ain't going to be very excited. But that ain't no pardon. That doesn't mean you get to go free. They, if they lost on Sunday, their season was over. They are ta- They maybe are firing the coach this week. They they didn't get n- any real reprieve. They, or they got a temporary reprieve until the next loss. And so if they reel off, we know what Dallas' schedule is. They've got Thursday Night Football, Washington, I'm sorry, they've got Atlanta, and then Thursday Night Football, Washington, Thursday Night Football, New Orleans. You go 3-0, and and now all of a sudden you're like, Ooh. oh, at the end of the year, Indy, Tampa Bay, and the Giants. Like, we got a nice I hadn't even looked in. at that schedule. Mm. Atlanta, I mean, Washington, New Orleans. I mean, my goodness. It's, I mean, that's, that's, they hadn't won that Philadelphia game. Their season's right. over. And so now they're, they have the ability to at least for another week keep hope alive. To that's use a beautiful a, thing r- in sports. Right, absolutely. Hope. Hope. And it makes sure your team doesn't let go of the rope. It makes sure guys are attentive at the meetings, I would imagine. Yeah. You can spin it to them. Hey, guys, here's all we got to do. We control our division, we do that. Fine, you can keep spinning that. And I get why Jerry, who's the ultimate salesman, would want to keep spinning that. But does it change my opinion? No. You got 33 quarterbacks in the league throwing for 275 yards. You ain't got one of them. You got you have an offensive line that's the highest paid in football that up until Sunday mm-hmm. had been playing like a slightly above average offensive line. I No, I, I don't believe in the Cowboys yet. I don't believe the Cowboys got it turned around. To me, Sunday was about two things. Zeke 
and whatever the hell is wrong with Philly. Like, that's what I took mm -hmm. from Sunday. Yeah. Not that the Cowboys are all of a sudden back you, on track. You use words like they haven't figured it out yet. And we're saying if they play like this, they could be okay. It took them nine yeah. games to figure out that this, with hit. only one thing that's really been different besides that coach leaving, that's the only, you bring Amari Cooper and all of a sudden that was the difference. You have the same pieces that you had all, all season long. Yeah, well, more downhill runs, right, because they fired the coach and put Colombo in. So now they're having double teams and getting up to the line, you know, getting to the second level, getting away from that Denver type of blocking style. But also you forget when you bring Amari Cooper in, you're like, well, maybe this is why Dak has been struggling. You know, Dak still struggled in, in Amari Cooper's first game there, yeah. throwing it to double coverage, throwing across his yes. body, mm -hmm. not keeping his fundamentals. Now you say, listen, it's not, it's not the receiving core. It's Dak. This is what he can do. Let's make sure that he can do what he does well. Play action. Let's lean on Ezekiel Elliott because Ezekiel Elliott should have won that rookie of the year, not Dak Prescott because he was the best rookie and the leader of that team. He's the engine that makes this team go. Whenever you got to creep that eighth man into the box, it, it allows Dak to have easy reads. Easy reads, understand that I got one-on-one -on -one outside. Somebody's one-on-one, -on -one, and all he has to do is look at the rotation of the safety, and he knows exactly where to go to, with the ball to give him his chances. If you don't run Zeke and people see that Zeke isn't part of the game plan, then they're going to stay too high and tell you, Dak, you got to beat us with 11 plays down the field, and he can't do that. He can't make those elite throws into tight windows. Yeah, and Bart, Bart and I both believe, too, like the season is not made after eight, nine, ten games. Because if you can even be at four and six after ten games, I mean, you can get white hot at the end, go five and one, barely get in the playoffs, and still be able to do some damage. We just don't think that the Cowboys can do it based on the schedule and based on we don't think that they can repeat that. And we believe there's going to be two or three games where they try to put Dak as a thrower, and then those games are going to have trouble. Trouble. They can't, they can't fall behind. They can't fall behind in games because that puts the game in Dak's hands. They can barely. They can barely do it. When their head, so they definitely right. can't fall behind. Bart, stick around. Coming up, are the Steelers actually better off without Al Bell next on First Things First? I think I'm getting more rude just being around you. Like, I gotta be. No, no, no. I was much 